my darling Fumination. How are you? <laughs> How are we? My name is Fumi De Salovold. For those of you that are stopping by for the very first time, you're so very welcome indeed, my darlings. I'm sure you must be saying to yourself, Fumi, why are you dressed a little extra today? Well, I am dressed a little extra today because this is the 2024 red carpet Grammy Fashion Police. <laughs> I am so excited. Are we living and loving, my darlings? This was by H&M in collaboration with Lanvar. Yes, my darlings, I bought this in Oslo when I was living in Norway for five years. Oslo is the capital of Norway. Ulla's country, Ulla's Norwegian, for those of you that don't know. And so I got this dress there. It had a belt, but it's lost. Are we loving the earrings? Let me just show you. We have the back earring. I bought these ages ago. I just saw it and I thought it was fabulously different. So you just hook that behind the ear. It does not hurt at all. If I can get it back in, there we go. I'm using the monitor here as a guide. There we go. And then I put this one through, of course, my ear. So I just thought, you know, double fabulosity. It's the Grammy. It's a little bit of funkiness, yes? And then let me get up and show you the dress. Are we living and loving? And it's a little bit diagonal, so it comes down here. This is the front. It's got a side zip. And then this is the back. There we go. Can you see? So it's all about the shoulder, the big shoulder. Yeah, now I absolutely love it. It was really very well done by Lanva. You know, that you put the shoulder up, you know, for the glamour. Okay, I'm working out, darlings. When you see my weights, I am not joking. <laughs> I am not joking. These ones are three kilos. And then I have another one. This is eight, eight kg. So I lift this, can you see? And I do three sets of 12 for the legs and for the arms and for the abs. It's working because I have not worn this dress. Maybe five or six years, maybe even longer. I have not worn this dress. All right, so that is what is happening. Let us start, my darlings, to the most exciting part of the night. What do we have here? We have... Candice Boros, and she is in retrofit, looking quite fabulous, might I add. Girlfriend said, after 14 seasons of The Real Housewives of Atlanta, I'm out. Yep, she's out. Translation, I'm taking a break, but I don't think Girlfriend is coming back. She looks fabulous, Candy. You entertained us. You did what you had to do. After 14 years, I would be over it too. But you look absolutely fabulous. Coco Jones was one of my all-time favorite. I lived for it. You see, here's the thing. Small boobs versus big boobs. There are outfits that you can wear for both. And majority of the time, you can't really cross over. I miss my small boob model stage because I could wear dresses like this. Yes, I could. Hence why I'm coming up with my bra. Hence why I'm coming out with my tips. Ooh, you're going to love it. You're going to love it. You're going to love it. And I have decided that I'm going to come out with the mirrors, with the tips first because the bras are taking its time so i'm going to come out with that don't worry you're going to live for it hence why i bring it up for this fabulous dress i lived for it lived for it it was by celia Chris arati looking fabulous i love the mint green it was so fresh gorgeousness the simplicity of it and of course her skin was moisturized she was wearing a beautiful ring perhaps Swarovski perhaps not but she looked absolutely sensational the complexion gorgeous I absolutely absolutely loved it from the gate it was so gorgeous so so gorgeous Coco Jones 110 percent Fantasia War Country official Fall winter 2023. Fantasia has been applying pressure on our necks from the gate. From the second that we found out that she was on color purple, she has been applying pressure. I have loved everything everything that she has worn a good majority of stuff that she has worn let me start with the positives 
I love the heel. I love the pedicure. The shoe was gorgeous. I actually love the blush too. I love the black gloves, gorgeousness, and the jewelry. The hair was giving me Josephine Baker. Might I add that the makeup was equally glamour. I did not care for the lip piece. It didn't do anything for me. And for me, when I see stuff like that, I'm always thinking, how do you drink? How do you eat? It does not transcend where I think fabulosity, glamour. The dress is okay. It could have been even more sensational if they took away this heavy bib in front and just gave us the lapel underneath. Unfortunately, this was not what I was living and loving. We have the fabulous Miley Cyrus. I am so happy that she won for the song Flowers. I live and I love that song. I thought it was fabulous. And she was here in custom Mason Magella. And this actually composed of 14,000 safety pins. Yeah, 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 yeah. Take a closer look. 14,000 safety pins. And she looked like she was coming from Egypt. And this was a period piece. I lived and I loved the shoes. Yes, yes, yes. But I did not care for the dress. I loved the hair. Believe it or not, I loved the hair. I lived for the hair. She was going towards Farrah Fawcett, but they should have done it all the way and given it feathers. Phenomenal body, phenomenal legs, phenomenal singer. The girl can roar when I tell you. And I met Miley out in California when I was doing her little after show. That was how I got my after card. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think I was her teacher or something like that. I didn't have any lines, but I met her and her dad. Her dad was on set that day talented then i'm not surprised that she is what she is today because even then she was what how old 12 or something like that she must be 30 31 yeah because ula and i have been married what 15 years so if you cut that out then she was only 15 16 and i had worked on after two three years before i met ula brings it down to 12 yeah she was around that age fabulous lived for her live for her still but i just didn't care for uh this this particular dress we move on to dua lip and she wore custom gogre yes mama yes 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 you see when you have a small chest you can wear stuff like this you can bring it all the way down to the center and i said to myself the limousine girls the bigger girls should be able to wear this too hence why i said let me start with a bra brand i had never ever thought i would do it but here we are because you legit are allowed and you are licensed to wear whatever you want don't let the underwear shapewear world before i came they take to you what to wear and what not and so here we are with this gorgeous fabuloso and i lived for it it was very nice indeed i like the tassels of it and i even like the little slit on the hip she can get away with it because it doesn't look vulgar do you see it doesn't look vulgar i liked it very much we had cat graham And she was wearing Stephan, Stephanie Rowland. Ooh, child, you should see what Stephanie Rowland has designed. I don't mind taking a couple of pieces out here. I struggle to understand. This is beautiful. This is phenomenal. You can understand my dilemma as to why she chose to look like a nun. Because this is giving me nun vibes in Rome. Because the nuns over there are quite fabulous. <laughs> They're quite stylish. I saw it myself. Love the gloves. Dare I say, I love the dress underneath. But I think that they were trying to be modest. And perhaps the bosom was not covered all the way. And I know what it is. It's the square. I wish they had made that sort of kind of a one shoulder. Just give it some kind of glamour. The square gave me none. The black hair with the center part all jailed down gave me none. And that was where we went wrong. Beautiful figure. Such a sin. <sighs> Carl.
Coy Larry in San Lagon. Love, love, love the feather um, throw. I love her hair, I love her little face. So cute. I even love the tattoo. And you know what? It's giving me cabaret, but not in a good way. I understand the pants. She can get away with it. She's got beautiful, toned, lean legs. But she should have made the jackety tuxedo with a beautiful white shirt with a white bow tie. And this would have been fire. Then I would have said, absolutely, go right ahead, mama, do your thing. This just gave us unfinished. You know, you say to yourself, where are the pants? When something looks like it's missing, then it's missing. The whole outfit is off. We have the beautiful Nisi Nash. And might I add, in this particular instance, it was her husband, or do you say her wife? It was her wife who I lived and loved for. He, she attended, sorry, she attended to her in such a way that I was actually thrown off from what Nisi was wearing. Nisi looks fabulous. She was wearing Mac Bauer and she looked gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, but salute to her wife. Taylor Swift in Skipper Rally. It was boring. Beautiful red fire lip. Love the jewelry, love the gloves. I actually like the dress. I love the heels. I don't know what I was expecting. I just wanted more, you know? And perhaps in a way, some, it, it's a Grecian goddess, but somehow it's boring. The hair looks unfinished. They should have given her waves. I want something much more exciting. And if there was anything that Dodger Cat did, she gave us something exciting. And she is wearing Dilara Find Kojulu. Blush is such a beautiful color. And I love her tattoos. I love the lip. I didn't care for the glasses. And I didn't care for the two-tone hair. The blush dress was gorgeous. I didn't care for the sewing up in the back. If it was a very discreet zip, maybe this dress would have worked because you'd have had that hard age tattoo girl with this soft blush gorgeousness. But it was bordering on vulgar because if I zoom in, it's showing half her nipple or areola, should I say. It's unfortunate because this dress was going places and it didn't go there. And now that I'm seeing the heel, it's an absolute no. Ice Spice, and she wore baby fat. Do you know, I love baby fat. Live for them. The skirt is nice. Let's, let's start there. The skirt is beautiful, and the heels were gorgeous. All she had to do was just wear a t-shirt with just beautiful gold jewelry just dangling and this would have been fire. The jacket is literally off season. Well, you know how we are about fur and animals. So this, whether, whether it's full or not, it was just giving us, well, we are coming into springish. We're looking at spring. So why this? It didn't work for me. Let me know down in the comments. But I dug the skirt and the skirt could have pushed through with a white t-shirt and it would have been fabulous. I just love her hair. I love her pretty face. The makeup was nice. The lip was nice, you know, but the top, it was just too heavy. Christina Aguilar and she was wearing Fashion East. I promise you, I had to look and say to myself, who is this? <laughs> who is this? Because the drastic weight loss is drastic. The dress is phenomenal. I loved the beading on the hip. I loved the fact that it was all one piece. It was gorgeous. I loved the nails. I loved the makeup on Christina Aguilar because, you know, first and foremost, the cheeks are gone, you know. So you're giving us angles. 
the hair was not a favorite of mine i wish that it had had more personality more color more layers more something it washed her out because the dress is beautiful but it's a pale blue i would have loved red hair just to kick it off or auburn she needed highlights as opposed to this streak blonde because you have to understand we haven't seen christiana aguilera for six months that's that's the time that it takes for zempic to really do what he's doing whether it's ozempic whether it's wigovi i'm not sure and that's okay because everybody in hollywood is 25 pounds lighter these days we get it show business you know it is what it is the dress is fabulous i loved it on her gorgeousness yeah mama i lived for it i loved the makeup and now that i know that it's christina aguilara not bad it was the hair the hair was not fun at all at all oh that's my sister hello my love love I didn't understand it. We're getting to her. Say hi to Fumination. Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. Yeah. She's in New York, so oh. it's morning time for her. So I'll be right back, guys. Let me have a little chat with her. Mariah Carey wore custom, let me see, custom Laura Baski. It is very apropos, it is very true. That's what I should say. It's very true to Mariah. She looked absolutely beautiful. But this is her. This is her. This is the glam with a long slit up to the thigh. She looks gorgeous. The heels were gorgeous. You looked absolutely fabulous, Mama. I live for it. The hair, the makeup, the smile. You look gorgeous. Yes, Mama. Yes. Somebody's eating their salads up in these streets. We have Chloe Bailey. And Chloe Bailey wore Gurav Gupta official. And I lived for it. The only thing here for for me is i think maybe her posture maybe she'll be better in other pictures so i'm not going to hold that against her gorgeous i love the urban hair i love that shade of hair i think it's so beautiful the makeup was nice gorgeous body nothing to be said is giving me share vibes i felt the energy at the grammys i just felt of those stars you know back in the 70s that my mom loved and so i kept on thinking of share I kept on thinking of Tina Turner. It was just giving me that kind of vibe. Here we have Hailey Bailey, and she was wearing custom Gucci, looking flawless. I live for it in every way, shape, and form. Gorgeousness. This is a girl that just had a baby. I will say I'm not crazy about the hair. Pull the hair back. Let's see your face because you are giving us everything else. You look gorgeous. You look happy. You're a mom. Congratulations. I hope all is copacetic out there. The dress was flawless. Ah, Oprah. Oprah in Valentino. Is this a dress? It's a dress. She's showing some calf. Well, why not? Girlfriend has lost weight. She's looking fabulous. Is that a ponytail? Not bad. The only thing I will say is that this heavy lash and uh, dark makeup, I think we have to lift it up. Lift it up, Oprah, so that we can see your beautiful face. 70, congratulations, Mama. You look fabulous, and I love the dress on you. Ah, we have Gail. Yes, her best toe not bad do i care for gail's outfit it's too shiny that kind of cheap shiny of which i don't like but beautiful smile beautiful hair yeah miley performed flowers and she was wearing bob mackie uh miley your legs look phenomenal phenomenal in this dress beautiful you give me tina turner vibes and your confidence is so real beautiful i mean you delivered you delivered 10 out of 10 out of 10 okay anna may bollocks cousin came out here and said tina you are still living through us and you sure are the legs are beautiful gillette come on through and give her like a kind of collaboration contract because she'll be good with that beyonce was spotted at the grammys in a cowboy hat wearing louis vuitton I'm seeing it on her page and do you know I tell you this right here and now I love that shock white blonde hair and I love the cowboy hat I actually love the makeup makeup is beautiful 
I didn't care for the outfit. I love me some Beyonce, but I've got to keep it 100. I didn't even care for the shoes. I will say though, her daughter looked phenomenal. It was lovely to see Blue. To see Blue bloom the way that she has. It was amazing. It was just really amazing. And when she stood on stage with her father, I think there was a collective pride seeing her, you know, grow up to be such a beautiful, beautiful young lady. Dawn Richard, and she wore Kosrov. Do you know, I liked it. Issue here was they should have bent the flower band forward and the other one backward. As it stood, I see where it was going, but it looks as if she jumped into the hollow of a tree. It gave the drama. I live for that color, for that cherry red. Live for it. And she carried it off. But you have to make it glamour, wearable. It has to translate. And it did not translate for me. That's all that I'm saying. But I liked where it was going. Another sensation that I lived for all the way was Summer Walker. I uh, reviewed Summer Walker maybe about four or five years ago when she tried to emulate uh, Josephine Baker. It didn't go down very well. This time, she's out here in the streets and she's giving me Diana Ross. And you know what it is? The hat was lovely. The hat was fabulous. The dress was fabulous. Ah, I just wish it was a little bit smaller. Little bit smaller. And you know what they should have done? Wrapped her head in an encrusted, bejeweled cap to set it off. So that when you angle it like so, under the feathers, you could see see it and that was the only tutti tat tat mistake the dress was beautiful it was shaped nice i loved the white i loved that hat i want the hat i must get in touch with the designer gorgeous gorgeous it just it it overwhelmed her and it should have projected her as the beauty that she is i have not seen summer walker this beautiful so you see it is possible it is absolutely what it is absolutely possible. We had Janelle Monet, she wore Giorgio Armani Privé. With a body like that, how can you go wrong? It's beautiful. Every part of it, every part, front, back, back, front, gorgeous. You could wear this to the Academy Awards. I live for it and I loved it. Here we have Miley Cyrus again. Remember I was telling you that she wore this Gucci number and it's this Marlowe and she's got the body for days and she was wearing this vintage Gucci purse and then the throw was all feathers. I lived for it loved it loved it all the way and some i just i cannot get enough of it i just live for this it was a sequin number and it was just pinched in at the hip this girl has zero fat anywhere on her body she works out like a beast it's one of her favorite pastimes to do <laughs> oh my god and i uh, remember when she went up to get her award she was wearing like a black cat suit also sequined she was looking flawless and what flawless and fabulous celine dion came in mason valentino and it was such a pleasure to see her looking well the coat is gorgeous the dress is gorgeous she was dressed very appropriately i wish her all the very best every time when i open my phone somebody has passed away somebody close to my age celine dion and i are the same age and so that's very humbling and you just go down on your knees and you're like thank you god thank you god for health thank you god because i, I have so much to do and so i have a lot of empathy compassion because she's got young sons as well and she went through seven rounds of IVF so and her husband has passed away it just feels so unfair and yet we have to we have to believe that everything is going to work out so Celine it is well I loved I love this cognac coat gorgeousness all the way uh Chrissy Teigen she wore Sophie Couture to the Grammys oh because of John Legend because I was going to say why is she there the dress was cute. I wish she pulled her hair back and she wore different heels, you know, like a pointed toe. Love, 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 love. 
love love the dress i think it's adorable it's pretty it's cute you know maybe cinched in a little bit to give it, I, it the background is black so i can't really i can't really see it but you know what for me go to her page and see there we go gorgeous gorgeous love it still yeah 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 it's a fun 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 cute dress but the bust is what is, is an issue for me it looks like it's spaced out and the heels look better here because sometimes on, on a black carpet, you can't really see it for what it is. It's the bust. The bust just looks low and it doesn't look cinched in. So it's not giving me a finished look. But it's a cute dress. Lizzo. Looking nice. Love the grey eyeshadow. Love the hair. Love the dress. Love the girls. They're very apropos. Because usually they're not like so. That's nice. That's nice, my darling. And she was wearing whom? Louis de Javi very nice the heel very nice looking good that's all i can say why not lonely love in ophir beautiful smile she's such a fabulous comedian the makeup is a little harsh oop the brow is even harsher the smoky eye and the wig it was too extreme Lonnie should have been softened even with a nice brown wig she would have looked fabulous it was too smoky even with me I love that smoky eye and as you can see I began to open it up a little bit more because it can be too heavy it can be too much the white collar, they could have put in a Marlowe, they could have put in a purple to offset the decadence of that chocolate skin. The sleeve, no, it wasn't necessary. And then I don't know how they got to the red boot. I don't know why. I don't know why. And my darling, that is it for the Grammys. Those are the ones that I saw. And uh, you guys let me know down in the comment section who you loved and who you did not. And that is it. I hope you enjoyed the episode, my darlings. Do not forget to like, to subscribe, hit the notification button. And I will see you what? I will see you sooner than later. All of my love. <laughs>